Hi, this is Anthony with a review on the new Firefox 38 rapid release which came out on May 12, 2015. This is the fourth rapid release for 2015 from Mozilla, so let's see what's in store. So in this new update, um, it includes some changes in, to improve page load time, but doesn't include much in terms of new features. The only notable change is the new tab-based preferences, which we'll talk about in a moment. There were over 3600 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities. In the last upgrade, which is Firefox 37, um, which was released on March 31st, 2015, it gave me a lot of grief and uh, it kept crashing on me. Here are some of the crash reports that I submitted. This is page 1 of it and this is page 2. As you can see, quite a lot of crash reports. And comparatively, these were the ones that I submitted the last uh, time I updated. So. You know, as you can see, there were quite a few. Anyway, um, based on my experience right now from, you know, updating Firefox 38, I'm happy so far and have not had a single Firefox crash, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, now let's take a look at the new tab-based Firefox preferences. So in Firefox 37, if you wanted to uh, make changes to preferences, you would click on this menu icon at the settings icon, top right, and then choose the options. And once you did that, it would open up this dialog box. And if you wanted to use the browser at the same time, you could not do that unless you close this um, dialog box. So what they've done now, and if you do the same thing and, and go to the options, it'll now take you to this tab rather than a dialog box. So um, in a way, obviously, it's going to help you go back and, you know, uh, browse at the same time and change preferences. So that's, that's a good thing. At least I like it. But if you don't like this, you can, you know, you can change that back to, you'd have to go to the preferences. If you do want to know how to do that, you can, you know, let me know and I can uh, make a separate video on that. So, by the way, in Firefox 37, you could still do this, except that you would have to enter about colon preferences in this address bar. So let's move on. So Firefox 38 comes with Ruby support and you will probably not notice it unless you use Japanese or Chinese. Um, Ruby is sort of an annotation uh, providing the small text that you see on top of the regular text um, that is attached to the main text and it's meant to help with pronunciation or meaning of the corresponding characters. So Firefox 38 is also the stable ESR, which is the Extended Support Release, and ESR is, is basically a special release meant for organizations and businesses who uh, want to avoid the constant rapid release updates that generally come every, you know, once every six weeks. So the last um, ESR was Firefox 31, and obviously this is the new one, 38, and the next um, one, the future one, will be Firefox 45. Uh, which is expected to be released, um, I believe, in March 2016. There were also some uh, HTML5 enhancements and changes uh, as well. For example, uh, the WebSocket is now available in um, Web Workers. Um, you've got a, bro a broadcast channel API uh, that has been implemented, basically allowing communication between iframes, browser tabs, and uh, worker threads. And um, these two HTML5 uh, changes are related to uh, DRM and CDM. DRM is basically um, digital rights management compliance technology, and it's related to online video and audio services. And CDM is basically content uh, decryption module, and it's basically the same technology but for HTML5 video. Uh, again, I don't want to get too technical about this, but what's going to happen is because of these changes uh, in Firefox 38, you will basically um, see that uh, there will be an add-on automatically installed, Adobe Prime Time CDM. Okay, and if you go to the add-ons page, you'll basically notice that this is the one. And uh, if you don't watch uh, DRM content, you may want to just disable this uh, add-on by choosing uh, you know, always activate, and then here choosing this never activate. Uh, alternatively, you can go to the uh, preferences like I showed you earlier, and then you can go to the content tab, and then basically opt out by um, unchecking this box. You see, play DRM content, right? Um, 
So I'll show you the the results of the Peacekeeper benchmark test that I ran. Um, but if you'd like to see the full list of changes and enhancements in Firefox 38, you, know, you can check the release notes. I'll put a description. I'll put a link in the description section of this YouTube video. So here are the results of the Firefox 38 browser benchmark test uh, using Peacekeeper. I am much happier with this upgrade. It has performed much better than uh, the last one, and um, as you can see from the chart. Uh, in the past, Google Chrome has, uh, you know, outperformed uh, Firefox, but in the past uh, three up, um, updates, as you can see, Google Chrome has, you know, underperformed. Um, even the last one, though it was crashing on me, it, was, it did much better than Chrome. Um, overall, I'm impressed with uh, Fire, this Firefox update, and I'm hoping it continues to perform well. Now, bear in mind that not all add-ons will be compatible with this new uh, version of Firefox. And if you use many Firefox add-ons, you may just want to wait for a few days before you uh, update it to Firefox 38. So that's pretty much a wrap-up um, on uh, the Firefox 38 browser update. Hope you found this useful. Uh, feel free to check my um, YouTube channel for many of my uh, Firefox reviews and um, YouTube tutorials. And if you've got any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section. And feel free to subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by.